Leanne Cusack has guests in studio who are involved in a loving initiative. Leanne. Michael, that's a great way to describe it. It's a program that José Lusignan quietly started several years ago, a shoebox delivery all about friendship and celebrating education for Indigenous children living in remote and semi-remote communities. José joins us with two Indigenous leaders, Shirley White Duck, a longtime educator, and Bruce Shishish, former chief of Attawapiskat, a community in the national spotlight because of the high incidence of teen suicide. Very glad to have you here today for what, Jose, you describe as an initiative you want to be a, a tsunami, a tidal wave of love. Absolutely. Thank you, Leanne. And it is. What we're witnessing across the country is, I think it's epic, it's incredible uh, to see thousands of children in schools packing shoeboxes, uh, communities, Indigenous, non-Indigenous people coming together in ways we've never seen before, and we're just so happy. And for many, all of the issues facing communities are issues in the headlines. But for you, this started very personally. I think it was a trip to Winnipeg that made you most aware. Explain how you started your organization. Well, I've worked in the aid sector for many years, and it was actually about 12 years ago that I came upon the website of an NGO and saw that they were feeding children in northern Quebec. And that day I cried. I, I couldn't believe that in Canada this would happen. Uh, but as a citizen, felt so powerless. I thought, what on earth could I do to make things better? And it was seven years ago that I spent a summer in Winnipeg uh, really hanging out with homeless Indigenous youth. Uh, and I came home heartbroken and I said, I will do what I can and started asking my friends to pack gift-filled shoeboxes. And one of the recipients, a community in need at the edge of the Uda Way in Rapid Lake is where you are the principal of the elementary school, Shirley, and it's not far from where you were raised in Kitigan, Zibi. It's really great to have you here and Bruce as well because I know Attawapiskat has you know, dominated the headlines, the issues in your community are raw. Uh, what are things like now, Bruce? Are we seeing a, a shift at all in what's going on for young people in Attawapiskat? Well, first of all, um, when you look at our community, making headlines, uh, Attawapiskat is still, still in need of help. Um, our, our kids, our young people need to uh, have a good access towards uh, education, towards uh, good mental health uh, um, work, and also children need to have a good access on clean water, you know? And, and I think that's the most important thing that, that we need to uh, you know, focus and, and the issue box, you know, brings a good, strong message. Well, I'm so glad that you said that, Bruce, that it, it's a good, strong message because so many of the people watching will think, you know, these communities need, as you said, health care and clean drinking water. What can a shoebox do? But surely this is where you come in as a principal, <laughs> someone who's been an educator for such a long time. I guess a shoebox can do a lot because Jose's first phone call was to you, I guess. Well, four years ago, I, uh, I was working at Kitiganic Elementary School in Rapid Lake, Quebec, and uh, José was the first person that I met uh, regarding the shoeboxes, and I thought, oh, what's this all about, the shoeboxes for the kids? Because I was teaching grade five, six at the time, and then I became principal the year after. So once I became principal and connected more with her, then I really got the message like, oh my goodness, what a connection that this community has now with all the different people and now na nationwide. I mean, it's unbelievable. And I'm so proud of Jose for doing that. Well, Shirley, we were, oh, you're choking <laughs> up. And we're looking at these images of children receiving uh, the shoe boxes. So maybe mm -hmm. you could describe <clears throat> what it's like when you're there delivering them. <laughs> When she's delivering, because they come up a couple of times a year to deliver the shoe boxes, and uh, over the years we've formed uh, categories as well for the children in mid-year and at the end of the year so that we touch a lot of the Algonquin culture and the language and also a most improved and best effort in the school. And so the children really work towards that and we really encourage them as a staff to um, 
welcome Jose and her team and the kids are really excited when they come they, they keep asking for them when are they coming when are they coming and what more can you say but those little hearts they're just mm, <laughs> too cute to see <laughs> well it's an ever expanding team and that's why Jose is here with with Shirley and Bruce today Michael because our viewers can get involved in many ways and we will chat about the need and how you can participate when we come back Michael Thanks, Leanne.